MercerBears.com, the place for all of your Bears sports. And, uh, of course, big win tonight for the Mercer women's team here in the WNIT. It's Coach Susie Gardner joining us. The, the Bears, a runaway win, 80 to 48 tonight, Coach. I was not expecting that. You know, this team that we played tonight took LSU to overtime. And so I'm watching the film all, all week, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, this is going to be a tight game. But I thought our guys played really, really hard, played well, uh, had a lot of energy. You know, when things were going well, Precious had an amazing game, uh, which helped a lot, too. Yeah, Precious Bridges, let's go ahead and talk about her. An amazing performance, uh, leading all scores 27, and uh, really taking the pressure that the Tigers threw at her and really just showed a lot of senior leadership. Well, she was 10 for 15, and there were some situations where there was a shot clock. The shot clock was winding down, and uh, she, uh, you know, took the, took the ball in her hands and just hit some buzzer beaters right there. But I thought she played exceptional for her. She ran the point. Uh, she gave us a lot of energy on defense. She, she, she's getting more confident as, a, as the point guard right now. So uh, it, it was a, a good good uh, game for Precious for sure. And uh, you got uh, the, the, the contrib contributions from all your seniors, but your freshmen stepping up, and Kalia Lawrence started the game. And talk about her contribution. You know, she was the – chosen by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution as the best player in the state of Georgia uh, out of high school and, and went undefeated this year or last year. And, uh, uh, you know, she started a little bit slow, but I think she's got so much potential, so much potential. She's going to help us a lot. She gave us great energy at the top of our zone. She's long. She can get to the rim. Uh, she and Precious together, I think, give us a unique combo at the one-two spot. And, uh, again, she played a, a really good game for us, as, as did everyone, I thought. It was uh, up and down, a, a very nice game, especially Alex Williams comes to mind, a freshman who had 11 boards to lead all rebounders for your team. You know, she didn't play uh, versus Mississippi State very much, but I told, uh, told her before the game, I said, all I want you to do is think about is rebounding, and that's exactly what she did. She did that as we look at the breakdown of the final stats between the Bears and the Tigers, and uh, good shooting from the floor, good shooting from outside, points off turnovers your, your team pretty much executed uh, just about like you wanted well i tell you what stands out to me on those stats are, are rebounding you know uh jackson state had 48 rebounds versus lsu and we kept pounding that in their heads about rebound rebound rebounding and i'll take i'll take 55 rebounds any night i mean it, there's been very few games since i've been at mercer that we have gone into the locker room where everyone felt good and contributed and there was a game that you know, we weren't tight at the end. There very few games in my career, so this was an exciting way to start our home homestand. And even your record at one and one. That's right, and we get to play the late game tomorrow, so that's great. All right, more action coming your way here at Hawkins Arena with the WNIT. A pleasure having Coach Gardner here after the big win, and uh, we hope it's the first of many. I, I appreciate it a lot. I thought we played well, and uh, we're, we're happy to be in the preseason WNIT as well. It's an honor and a, and a special honor to be hosting it here at Hawkins Arena. Exactly. Well, for Coach Susie Gardner, I'm Todd, I'm Todd Wilson. You be sure to keep it here on MercerBears.com for all your Bears sports updates.